I'm Father Carl Pieber. I'm here at the Shrine of the Miraculous Medal. I'd like to tell you the story of the Miraculous Medal now. It was back in 1830 that the first apparition to our, of Our Lady to St. Catherine Labore happened. Catherine Labore was a poor country girl. She always wanted to enter the convent, but her father wouldn't let her. He father wanted her to marry so that she could take care of him. Finally, by the age of 22, she was able to convince her father to let her enter the Daughters of Charity in Paris, France. She entered the postulancy in January of 1830. But that summer changed Catherine's life forever. While she slept in her bed in the dormitory of the postulants on the evening of July 18th, 1830, an angel appeared to her late at night, rustled her from her sleep and said, come, our lady waits for you in the chapel. Following the angel, she went down the corridors and to the chapel, but the light, she said, you lit as she went by. In fact, it became light as day as she went down the corridor, and when she entered the chapel, everything was aglow. Hearing the rustle of Our Lady's gowns, she went over to the chair of the director, and Our Lady came over and sat there with her. It's very much like the depiction we have here. Catherine kneeling in Our Lady's side with her hands on Our Lady's lap, listening to Our Lady for over two hours that evening. At the end of the two hours, Our Lady went back and disappeared, and Catherine went back to her dorm. She didn't see Our Lady again until that fall, November 27th, when she was laid at, at prayer in the chapel of the Rue de Bach. At Vespers that evening, Our Lady appeared to her, she appeared first as the Virgo Potens, Latin for the Virgin Most Powerful. Holding the world in her hands, she offered it to God. And then as Catherine turned, she again appeared as Our Lady of Grace, with rays of grace coming from the rings on her finger. She told Catherine, these are the graces I wait to give those who come to the foot of the altar and ask for them. God begs to give you graces all day and all night, and no one asks for them. So have a medal struck in this image, Catherine, and distribute it to all, that all may partake and see the grace of God in their life, especially give it to children to whom God loves most dear. And so Catherine went, took this image to Father Aladell, her spiritual director, who took it to the bishop, and the bishop's words in 1832 were, have it struck, let us see, for by the fruits of the tree you will know it. The metal spread quickly, and by the time of 1834, over a million medals had been struck and handed out. The miracle, or the name miraculous, came from the fact that people's faith had changed when they put the metal on. Though there were physical cures, the main cure was that people returned to the faith, went to confession, and changed their lives. You know when you wear the image, when you wear the miraculous medal, you carry Mary with you. You carry that wonderful care and compassion of God. But more importantly, um, we do have what we call a center so that you can pray that novena wherever you are, but you also know that that novena is being prayed for you at the Shrine of the Miraculous Medal in Philadelphia. This prayer is part of our Miraculous Medal novena that's prayed everywhere in the world. Mary's Miraculous Medal family is made up of all these people, hundreds of thousands of people all over the world who wear the medal. We wear this wonderful medal and that shows the compassion of God in our life. We're saying that Mary is the sign of God's compassion. We ask for your intentions. We want you to tell us what to pray for. We want to pray for you. And so our association is this wonderful, wonderful group of people that pray for each other. And they pray to God through Mary. And they pray to Mary to help them to intercede. Thank you, dear Mary, my mother, for bringing me 
such peace of mind and such whole healing. I just feel that in the last 10 years, I've grown so much spiritually through your intercession. The Blessed Mother has been a great strength to me. And I've had over eight operations done, but I remember calling on her and her son. Prayers do work. Thank you, Mama Mary, Almighty God and Father, to all the angels and saints and the Holy Spirit. I know you are always there with us. Our Lady, I'd like to say thank you very much for saving my life as a young boy, and let me serve you now. And so when you belong to Mary's Miraculous Medal family, huh, you get not only the quarterly magazine, you get a medal, you get the Novena book to pray every day. On Monday is a very special day. We pray it nine times. We pray that wonderful Novena for you and all your needs. And that's what the Miraculous Metal family is all about. And you know, as a member of our family, you wear the Miraculous Medal. I can't tell you just how much your life, your faith will change praying our Novena prayer, wearing Mary's compassion all the time, your life will take a new turn. You will hear God in your life. There will be changes. Peace will come to you. So here we are, and I invite you to come and join us, for we're celebrating Mary with prayer for all.